move on to other stories now. Amid concerns over an interest rate hike in the U.S. likely to come this month, Korea's industrial loans fell on quarter for the first time in four years. Researchers point to corporate restructuring last year in the shipbuilding industry, but also some seasonal factors. Each one takes a closer look. The amount of outstanding commercial and industrial loans to Korean companies fell in the fourth quarter last year, the first time it's done so on a quarterly basis in four years. According to a report by the Bank of Korea on Monday, total commercial and industrial loans came to about 850 billion U.S. dollars as of the end of December, down 778 million, or about a tenth of a percent from the previous quarter. It's the biggest drop since record-keeping began in 2008. And it's attributed to the manufacturing sector, which reduced its total debt by $80 billion, that is, by more than 20 percent. Researchers said there's also a big seasonal factor and the effects of structural reform. Firms try to repay their debt to improve their loan management ratio at the end of the year. But on top of that, loans used for structural reform by the shipbuilding and shipping firms earlier in the year has been translated, or newly classified, as investment. On the other hand, the real estate, service and retail sectors borrowed more. The likely rate hike in the U.S. this month could lead to higher rates in Korea, adding to the burden on these companies. BOK Governor Lee ju says Korea needs to be thoroughly prepared for that. At a meeting with his BOK executives on Monday, he said that the chance of a rate hike in the U.S. is rising and that Korea must carefully analyze the potential impact this could have on its economy. And he ordered the relevant departments to prepare countermeasures. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.